Maybe it's just me. I'm willing to concede before I begin. I'm willing to concede that maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the one who's not seeing this clearly. But from, from my perspective, it seems to be a huge disconnect between the challenges we're having in senior care. And by challenges, I mean with staffing. We're having a real challenge getting people to come to work. We're having a real challenge for people to, to apply for work and in senior care and then show up in senior care and people to show up motivated, engaged, caring happy, productive, want to be there, want to do a good job. We're having trouble finding that. And the solution, it seems, that everybody I'm hearing from, the solution is you have to give them more money. You want more employees, you have to pay them more. You want employees to come in motivated and and, and caring about what they're doing and be more productive and caring, you, you have to give them more money. More money, more money, more money. This at a time when we are paying more money for employees than we ever have. I'm working with some homes that are having to use outside staffing agencies because they are unable to get staff to work for them internally. So they're having to hire these outside staffing agencies and the wages that the outside staffing agencies are charging are 40, 50, 60% higher than what the facility, the, the home internally is paying. And so it's just simply they are paying more money and it's not working because then the report comes down and we hear from the operators about these staff that are coming from these agencies that are making five, 10, $15 more an hour, $20 more an hour than everybody else. And we're hearing that they are not motivated, they, that they don't care, that they come and go as they please. They don't finish their work. They're not productive. They're, they're not motivated. They're not compassionate. They're only in it for the money. And it's just this huge disconnect because I got to be honest with you. I wish it were true. I wish the answer to getting employees to come to work and be engaged and to do a really good job and care and want to do a good job is just money. I wish it were that easy. I mean, talk about an easy solution. Don't just give them a couple dollars more an hour and they'll become the best employee. They'll become super motivated, engaged and, and caring and happy and they'll do the right things all the time just for a couple of extra dollars. I mean, sign me up. Let's start paying more money. The problem is, of course, that's not what we're getting. All we're getting is higher wages. All we're doing is spending more money, but it's not solving the problem. We still have employees who are now making way more money, but they're still not engaged. They're still not productive. They're still not care. And in fact, in the quality award, in the quality award, uh, uh, under the quality award landscape, the umbrella of the quality award program, and I'm not talking about the a just the AHCA, but I mean the Malcolm Baldrige quality award program that encompasses the entire country. We have a we have a phrase for these type of employees, and they're called captive employees, and they are the worst kind of employees. Because let me tell you what a captive employee is. And I'm telling you, most of our organizations are made up of captive employees. A captive employee does not care about the organization. It's not gonna work harder to help the organization succeed in any capacity. They're not gonna go above and beyond. But here's the other thing as well. They're also not gonna go anywhere. They're more apt to just ride out the storm. I've been here for 10 years, I'll be here for another 10. If I can get a couple of extra dollars, I will. But it's not gonna change their whole demeanor. It's not gonna make them into a better employee. They're not gonna care more because you give them more money. They're not gonna work harder because you give them more money. They're captive, they're captive employees. They're simply going to ride it out. They have no intentions of going anywhere. I gotta tell you, if you're really serious about solving the staffing crisis, if you're really serious about getting your employees to be engaged and motivated and to care and to work on time and the no call, no show and call out and all these things, I would consider, invite you to consider certainly, applying for a quality award through the American Healthcare Association. The quality award program is the very best program to put you and your organization on sound footing to solve these real time challenges. The quality award program from the American Healthcare Association. I'm telling you, if you have a leadership challenge, you can solve it with the quality award program. You have a strategy challenge, you can solve it with the quality award, pro quality award program. If you have a, a customer challenge, a, an employee engagement challenge, a communication challenge, a satisfaction challenge, all of these are addressed in the quality award 
application. I invite you to consider to check it out. Look at the metrics. Look at all the things that happen to winners. People who win the quality awards have better staffing, have higher census, have lower accident rates, have higher quality measures, have better survey results. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Then again, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm not seeing it right. I don't know. 